In this video, we'll derive the formula for finding the area between two curves. This might seem like a very abstract thing to want to do, but actually it has a lot of very concrete applications, one of which at least we will see shortly. For now though, let's just focus on our goal. We've got some interval that we're looking at. And on these, this interval, we have two functions, f and g. And one of the functions is always greater than the other. And we are looking for the area between these curves. Let's derive a formula. There are two ways we could derive this formula. Let's give them both in turn. Method one is very clear, but it has the disadvantage that it won't generalize. When we want to talk about things like volumes and surface areas, the technique that we'll call method two will generalize well. This method won't. But it's very straightforward. We want to find the area between these two curves. Well, we can start by finding the total area under this curve. That will give us this area. But it will also give us unwanted area, this region down here that we don't want to include. And what is this unwanted area? Well, it's precisely the area below this curve. So to find the total area, well, we start by finding the area under F, the area of this whole region, and the area under a curve, is its definite integral. And now we'll get rid of this unwanted area. And this unwanted area is precisely the area below this curve. Which is also a definite integral. And one of the properties we learned that integrals have last semester was called linearity. And it says among other things that if we're subtracting two integrals like this,
we can combine it into a single integral. So here is the formula for the area on sorry, not under, for the area between two curves. You've got an upper curve and a lower curve, and the area is just the integral of the upper minus the lower. Let's find that formula again using a different method. This method is a little more convoluted, but as I say, it's the method that generalizes well. How can we find the area of this region? We'll be guided by Riemann sums. How did we find area under a curve? Well, we started by breaking the interval into pieces. And in each piece, we created a rectangle and used that as an approximation tool. So we'll repeat this process. Let's call that point to C sub I in each rectangle rectangle or each little interval, I should say, we select a point. And we are going to use that point together with the left and the right end points of the interval to create a rectangle rectangle. And the area of a rectangle we can find. And this isn't quite the area between the curves. We're missing a little piece up here and we've got some stuff here and here that we don't want but it's clearly very close to being the area between the curves. The height of this rectangle is f of c sub i minus g of c sub i. The width we'll call delta x sub i. And the area just in this slice is approximately the width times the height. I say approximately the area of the rectangle is exactly the width times the height, but that's not what we want. We want the area between the curve, and this only approximates that. Repeat this process on each of these little intervals. Add all of those approximations up and you'll have approximated the area 
between the curves. It's approximately the sum of these approximations. These approximations get better and better as these intervals get smaller and smaller. So we'll say that the area between these curves no longer an approximately equal to, but a real equal sign here. The area between the curves will be the limit as all of these intervals shrink to zero. of this sum. And this sum is a Riemann sum. Remember to be a Riemann sum, we need a function evaluated at a point in the interval times the length of the interval. And the limit of a Riemann sum is the definite integral. In the next video, we'll do an example. We'll also see an application or two and investigate complications that might occur.